Next week, the final Twilight film hits theaters, and Rob and Kristen will say goodbye to the series that made them famous and also popular targets for the paparazzi. And after Kristen's cheating scandal this summer, that media madness only got more insane. I just sat down with the stars who talked about how they handle it all and what it's like ending the Twilight era. Vampires don't sleep. It's not intended for sleep. It's the on-screen love affair that spilled into real life and caused two of Hollywood's hottest young stars to be pursued non-stop by the paparazzi. Back up! All of you back! Out of the way, man! Dude, this is... Is there some part of you as hard as it is to say goodbye to Bella, I imagine? Are you hoping the media spotlight on Kristen kind of calms down? No. <laughs> no, please, give it to me. No, I want more! Yeah, I want more. I, I, I really want more. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm an actor. That's, I just want to, I want it, I want it all. I just want to be the center of attention constantly. You have a good sense of humor. Is that, is that how you stay sane through all the craziness that is around this whole thing? Um, yeah, I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, there's definitely a problem. Best not to, best not to even approach mm -hmm. that aspect. Is think about your, think about actually who you are rather than, you know. What's projected on yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, has it been hard to keep your sanity through all of this craziness? Maybe I just lost my, I didn't have any sanity to begin with. <laughs> you were insane to begin yeah. with, so just, maybe it drove you sane. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I feel like that has happened a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, it is, I, I've seen a lot of people dealing with fame and stuff and, and they go crazy really quickly and it's, it's frightening to see how quickly they go crazy. I can't drive if someone's following me around. Man, it's just five cars following me around. Their Breaking Dawn co-star and veteran actor Michael Sheen has a lot of sympathy for what they go through. What do you think about how the kids have handled all the pressure that's been around well, them? Well, yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I could never have handled it, you know. Mm -hmm. And and there's there's nobody else who's really experienced it. You know, it's kind of their fame and the, and the passion about this has coincided with a, a level of intrusion in a way and a, and a spotlight that is kind of unprecedented. So I think uh, it, it must be very difficult for them. And I, and I you know, I congratulate them on, on handling it so well. So while Rob and Kristen have to deal with the paparazzi, Bella and Edward only have to contend with the Volturi. I'm sure a far less evil in the actor's eyes. I'll never let anybody hurt you. I mean, it's got, it's got to be tough. They are followed everywhere they go. And of course, guys, we're going to have more of my interview with Rob, Kristen, and the entire cast. Of course, I took a lot about this final film, saying goodbye to the parts that made him famous. Sure. All the good that's come with that. It's kind of a bittersweet time for all of them. And uh, by the way, we sent out Taylor Lautner as well, and he's, uh, he's got another shirtless role. <laughs> it's like <laughs> he can never escape taking out the clothes, and he gives ladies a little more this time. Well, not only <laughs> the end for the cast, but for fans, too. So we'll have more. They'll have to go on to Hunger Games here. or something else next that's time. That's right. By the way, you can see Breaking Down Part 2, and it hits theaters on the 16th.